Hi everyone, I'm Jasmine and welcome to Jasmine's Reading Corner. I'm here today with my friend Millie. Millie, say hi to everyone. Millie, I think they're all saying hi back. Millie had a great idea for a theme for the book we should read today. Can you all guess what it is based on what we have going on here? Dinosaurs! That's right, dinosaurs. So the book we'll be reading is, da da da, I Love My Dinosaur by Giles Andre and Emma Dodd. But before we begin, please subscribe to our channel. We'd really appreciate it by hitting the subscribe button at the bottom of your screen or at the bottom of this video, I guess is how you would say it. So now let's begin. I love my friendly dinosaur. He sleeps here on my bedroom floor. It keeps him feeling safe, you see, to know he's curled up next to me. Millie, you were right. He is one big dinosaur. Look how big he is. He's taking up almost the entire length of the bed. Actually, he is. And his beak, is that a beak or a nozzle, is going from the floor to the top almost of the bed frame. And look at that pattern on his skin. Does he have the measles or does he have green uh, chicken pox? Maybe the story will let us know. Yes, I will have to wait and see. That's right, Millie. I think it's just a prince. You think it's just a prince? You think he's just born that way? Yeah. Okay, we shall find out. It's morning, yippee, breakfast time. His bowl is huge. Now look at mine. Yeah, that's a really, really big cereal bowl. I actually don't like cereal at all. I never, ever eat it. Do you all eat it? Millie eats it. You like cereal, don't you? You eat it almost every day. Wait, does that mean our dinosaur is a vegetarian because he eats cereal, maybe? No, I guess that's not true because lots of people eat cereal and they're not vegetarians. So there's that. We like to clean our teeth together. I help him as his take forever. Yeah, that's a lot of teeth to clean. What's that, Millie? Oh yeah, you think he has more teeth than a shark? I'm not sure. I think sharks might have more teeth. Did you know that sharks shed teeth and grow in new teeth? So lots of different breeds of shark do that. I don't know if all of them do it, but I definitely know lots of them do that. They must go through a lot of toothpaste. I wonder if he likes bubblegum toothpaste. You know, the kind kids have, well, you probably all have that are watching this video. Minty Fresh. And now it's time to go to school. His scooter is looking very cool. Look at that scooter. He has a really big horn. That's pretty cool. Awesome. Awesome. I actually started uh, scootering this past summer and I go scootering with my nieces and my sisters along the waterfront. I really like it. I'm not as good as this dinosaur or his kid here, or my nieces, but I'm getting there. How about you all? Do you all uh, scooter in the summer? Oh, and look at those, what do you call those? Blinders? No, not blinders. I forgot. What do you call these? It's been a long time for me. Streamers. Look at those streamers. I think that's what you call them on their scooters. That's pretty nice. They have stars on them and they're very, very colorful. I like that. Oh, wow. And he's also holding, what are those things you blow? Yeah, what is it called? Windmill, windmills, I think they're called. Go get a windmill, hurry, hurry, fast, fast, fast. Fast, quicker, faster, faster, faster. Get a couple of them, they're very colorful. We're gonna add special effects to this book. Oh, just pass them. Windmills, windmills, windmills. Let's try to blow them. 
Okay, I can't blow them because I'm holding too many. There, they match the color of the dinosaurs, right, Millie? Can you hold them? No, you can't hold them. Okay, I will put them back. But that was a great prop. That worked out really well. My dinosaur likes painting best, which makes our teacher get quite stressed. Wow, look at them paint. What are they painting? I see a dog, a purple dog, and of course, no surprise here, a dinosaur, a green dinosaur with spots, those spots we were questioning about at the beginning of the book. At break time, shh, 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 we like to do books quietly when we're showing books for show and tell. Shh. At break time, we love playing games and swinging on the climbing frames. Do you all go on the climbers at your playgrounds? I was actually on a climber a couple of days ago because my back was hurting. Millie can tell you that. Wasn't my back hurting a couple of days ago? Yep. And I was swinging on the monkey bars to try to help how sore my back was. But then I slipped because it was cold outside and my fingers and my hands were cold. So I fell off. But I didn't fall down on the floor. I just, just kind of slipped. Oh, yeah, and look, he's also skipping row. That's a good observation, Millie. I learned a couple of years ago how to skip twice. No, how to jump and, yeah, put the skipping rope under you twice so it's a double skip while you're up in the air once. That was a really cool skill to learn. Shh, shh, shh. We like it quiet during story time. And when it's story time, aha, see? And when it's story time, he sits and hides in all the scary bits. Wow, that is one scaredy cat dinosaur. Look at him. He's such a scaredy cat. And they have all the paintings hanged up. And they have the painting in the background, too. Where? Oh, yeah, there is back there. And there's one behind the dinosaurs of a rainbow. I wonder what story they're... Oh, actually, I do know what story they are reading. It's about a werewolf. The big bad wolf! Yeah, that's it. The big bad wolf. So, what is that? Little Red Riding Hood and the big bad wolf? Yeah. The three little pigs, duh! Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, but there is a big bad wolf in Little Red Riding Hood, too. A mix. Yeah, so it could be either or. Or it could be the best of the, the Big Bad Wolf in that book. <laughs> this is a compilation. Maybe. <laughs> At home, he likes to help us cook. He makes some pretty weird stuff. Look! So what is he making? Oh, there's a duck here. Is that a duck? That it's his plushie. He has it the whole video, I guess. Oh, okay. Sorry. I'm not that observant, I guess. Look, so they are making, it looks like, cookies with dinosaur cookie cutters. And he made one of himself that's Fuji, and it shall come alive! Alive, I say! Yeah, it will come alive! Alive, you say! But did you notice it doesn't have his spots on it? Hmm. Well, maybe they don't have a spot cookie cutter? No, you're supposed to use food coloring, silly. No, icing. They could have used uh, green icing. But they will say there is no icing on that counter. Yes, we will have to send them some uh, feedback about that when they make cookies next time. We can send them a tweet, maybe. Mm -hmm. Or Instagram them. We bathe together just as two. The bubbles makes him sneeze. Achoo! Look, he's sneezing on the kid's father. You know what I realized? We don't know what the kid is, his name is or what his dad's name is or what his mom's name is or what his sister's name is. Baby's name. Baby's name, yes. The baby's name is Angela. 
Okay, maybe it's Angela. Angela and Anger. And Anger? Yes. <laughs> maybe you mean Angus. Angus, yeah. Angus, I think that's what you meant. Okay, so we're going to name them Angela and Angus. Yes. So this is Angus, and his sister is Angela. And the dog's name is Spot. No, the dog's name is Spot. There's no dog. Yeah, go back on the page where they were walking. There is a dog. Oh, is there a dog? Go back on the page where they were walking. Okay. Dog. Dog. Pet. Do we know if this is a girl or a boy? Yes, it has a purple blanket that means it's a girl. Okay, sure. I don't think that necessarily means that, but okay. We bathe together just as two. The bubbles make him sneeze. Achoo! Okay, I already read that, but that's okay. I read it again. They're having a really fun time in the bubble bath, in the bubble bath. In the scuba dubba tub. And they also have a, a, a rubber duck, a yellow rubber duck. And the rubber duck is named Gilbert. Gilbert? The yes. rubber duck is named Gilbert? Okay. Oh, and the dad's name is Dad. Oh, yeah, that's <laughs> right. When I was saying that before, I'm like, we don't know what the name of the mom is or the dad is. I was like, well, yeah, obviously they're, main, they're named mom and dad. But I was like, okay, I won't well, self-correct myself. They were unnamed. They were named mom and dad because the parents know that they would have kids. Yeah, that's what they named. Yes, you're right. Mom and dad are always called mom and dad. Well, mostly, usually, in a lot of families. It's bedtime now, so Jim Jam's on. Well, Daddy sings us both a song. Wait, wait, wait. They're wearing jam? No, Jim Jams. That's what they call them, Jim Jams. You mean pajamas? Yeah, pajamas. You know, s sleepy clothes, clothes you wear to sleep. I thought they were wearing jam. Jam? Like, you mean... The jam you eat. The jam you eat on yes. toast and jam with butter? Jam on jam with butter? <laughs> yeah. You mean like a peanut butter and, and jelly sandwich jam? No, that's not the jams. This is Jim Jams, meaning jams. Jams as in pajamas. What about the baby sister? How come they're not dressing the baby up? Well, maybe she's already asleep. Maybe Angela already went to sleep a couple of hours earlier. You know, babies sleep a lot. They're on a different sleep schedule. Yeah, but she has to let her PJs. Well, this book isn't about Angela. It's about Angus and his dinosaur with the spots that we don't know if it's measles or green chicken pox. Hey, stop calling it that. It's just a print. It's just his skin color? Yes. I shouldn't judge him for yeah. his skin color? His yeah, skin tone? I mean, those dinosaurs have different skin colors. You can judge them. Oh, those ones? Yes. Yeah, but they're nice. Those are nice colors. Well, just because it, you don't like that color doesn't mean you can judge him about it. Okay, I'm not. I'm just wondering if he if he's sick or something. He is not sick. Okay, okay, okay. It's sleepy time, we hear him say. Tomorrow is another day, so tuck away those little claws. Dot, dot, dot. What's that, Millie? Millie really likes the pattern of the blanket. Yeah, I really like it. it has I told all... you, there's green dinosaurs on the blanket. Even the store people like it. Okay, but that green matches more the green of my dinosaur. That's not green, it's blue, it's turquoise. It's turquoise. No, it's... no it isn't. It is. That's more of a seafoam green. Turquoise. It's not turquoise. Yeah, it is. No, it isn't. It's totally turquoise. It's closer to, uh, like, um... Okay, stop fighting. We have to get down to business. And also, he's a T-Rex. And the blue dinosaur below that one, they sing see from green, is a T-Rex. Yeah, this blue dinosaur is a T-Rex. This is right. But look at this one. He does not have green spots on him. Yeah, because they're different skin colors, different types of T-Rexes. There's okay. many different types of T-Rexes, Yasmin. Okay, okay, okay. Let me get through. Let me read the book. It's sleepy time, we hear him say. Tomorrow is another day. So tuck away those little claws. Dot, dot, dot. He's tucking away his little claws. Oh, look, there's the plushie, the little ducky. I told you. 
I told you it's on every page. Okay, you told me. You told me. You told me it was on every page. Got it, got it, got it. Even the one where they were walking or doodling. Still there. Sweet dreams, my darling dinosaurs. Wait, hold on. That duck is a different color than the duck we saw before. Yeah, that was a rubber duck. That was No, not a... that one. The one where they were cooking. No, it was the same color. Go where they were cooking. When they were cooking. Cooking, cooking, cooking. Cooking, cooking, cooking. Same color, purple. Oh. <laughs> I thought it'd be like, I don't know, dark blue. Nope, nope, like nope. Like that dinosaur over there. Nope, nope, nope. Okay, let me do this again. <laughs> Sweet dreams, my darling dinosaurs. Good night, dinosaurs. Good night, dinosaurs. Millie says good night, dinosaurs. And everybody else in the background says good night, too. Yes. Ah, it's the end. The end. Hope you liked this story time storybook. Millie and the dinosaurs and this dinosaur and Angus and Angela ask you all and to... And mom and dad. And mom and dad, that's right, and the puppy and the little plush ducky. I'll ask you to subscribe to our channel by you hitting... Put everybody in the background. Okay, and everyone... I did! And everyone else in the background, there is a pineapple guy and a watermelon guy and a giraffe and a helicopter and a little person here, I don't know if you can tell, holding watermelon because we all like watermelon. Uh, we all... <laughs> oh yeah, the person waving in the background. This dinosaur, and uh, there's a pink Skeleton. bunny. There's a pink bunny also. <laughs> we all ask you to subscribe to my channel. What about having... me? Oh yeah, and the voice off screen. I'll ask you. Oh, and the robot. There's a robot there too. <laughs> We all ask you to subscribe to my channel by hitting the subscribe button at the bottom <laughs> of the video. What about that seashell? <laughs> oh yeah, the seashell. And the alarm clock. <laughs> they can't see the alarm clock. She and, means this clock. And the rubber duck and the rubber thing. The rubber ball. Oh yeah, you mean my elastic ball? Ball of rubber and the, bands. And now they can see a dolphin. Now you can talk about that. And the actual seashells. Oh, yeah. No, and all those rocks over there. Okay, okay, okay. So all of us, all of these, all, all want you to subscribe to my channel by hitting the subscribe button. Until next time.